My name is Professor Gavin Perkins and I had the pleasure of chairing the Basic Life Support and Automated External Defibrillation Working Group on behalf of the European Resuscitation Council. In this short presentation I will summarise the key messages from the ERC Guidelines 2015 for BLS AED. Guidelines 2015 emphasises the critical importance of the interactions between the emergency medical dispatcher, the bystander who provides CPR and the timely deployment of an automated external defibrillator. An effective coordinated community response that draw these elements together is critical to improving survival from out of hospital cardiac arrest. The key to diagnosis of cardiac arrest is to recognise the victim who is unresponsive and not breathing normally. Immediately following cardiac arrest, blood flow to the brain is reduced to virtually zero, which may cause seizure-like episodes that may be confused with epilepsy. Bystanders in emergency medical dispatchers should be suspicious of cardiac arrest in any patient presenting with seizures and carefully assess whether the victim is breathing normally. If the victim is unresponsive and not breathing normally, start CPR. The ERC recommends that all victims of cardiac arrest receive chest compressions without delay. CPR providers trained and able to perform rescue breaths should combine chest compressions and rescue breaths as this may provide additional benefit. Chest compressions should be at least 5 but no more than 6 cm at a rate of 100 to 120 a minute. When providing rescue breaths, spend approximately one second inflating the chest with sufficient volume to ensure the chest visibly rises. The ratio of chest compressions to ventilations remains 30 to 2. Do not interrupt chest compressions for more than 10 seconds to provide ventilations. Defibrillation within 3 to 5 minutes of collapse can produce survival rates as high as 50 to 70 percent. Early defibrillation can be achieved through CPR providers using public access and on-site AEDs. Public access AED programmes should be actively implemented in public places that have a high density of citizens such as airports, railway stations, bus terminal, sports facilities, shopping malls, offices and casinos. It is here that cardiac arrests are often witnessed and trained CPR providers can be on scene quickly. Placing ADs where one cardiac arrest per five years can be expected is considered cost effective and the cost per added life year is comparable to other medical interventions. Past experience of the number of cardiac arrests in a certain area as well as neighbourhood characteristics may help guide AED placement. Registration of public access AEDs allows dispatchers to direct CPR providers to the nearby AED and may help optimise response. The adult CPR sequence can be used safely in children who are unresponsive and not breathing normally. For CPR providers who have additional training, a modified sequence which includes five initial rescue breaths before starting chest compressions and delaying going for help in the unlikely situation the rescuer is alone is even more suitable for the child and drowning victim. This summarises the Basic Life Support Automated External Defibrillation Guidelines. Thank you.